What's so great about living in Sacramento, California? I've got 11 reasons to tell you about starting right now. If you live anywhere in the world, you probably think you know everything there is to know about California, aka the Golden State, Cali, the left coast. We have palm trees and movie stars everywhere, and we go to the beach and surf every day. I've even had friends from New York tease me about my California accent, which I find hilarious. I don't have an accent. The number one thing that makes living in Sacramento great is the weather. We don't get snow and our winter winters are generally fairly mild. As my client who recently moved here from Nevada told me, you can't shovel rain. The experts have said that unlike a lot of places in California, the chances of having a major earthquake here in Sacramento are really pretty low. Number two is cost of living. To equal the standard of living you can enjoy on an annual salary of $100,000 in Sacramento, you'd need a salary of well over double that, $238,000, to enjoy the same standard of living in San Francisco. And this is mostly due to the cost of housing. The median price for a home in San Francisco is a whopping $1,331,000 versus Sacramento's median home price of $313,000. In fact, among 80 cities in California, Sacramento ranks number two as being very affordable for first-time home buyers. And if you've got a million-dollar budget, your money's going to go a lot farther in Sacramento as well. The third thing that makes living in Sacramento great is jobs. Um, we have a population of well over half a million people in the city of Sacramento, and there's over one and a half million people living in Sacramento County. Um, as the capital of California, about a quarter of people who live in the Sacramento area um, work at jobs supporting local, state, and um, federal governments. And the other top employers include Apple, Intel, and several hospital systems. So number four on the list is our trees. So Sacramento is known as the city of trees because we have so many trees of all types around the city. Our tree canopy is number one in the U.S. according to an MIT study and number three in the entire world. It's a fact that makes us pretty proud. Our city and our trees have actually been featured in a number of movies. Speaking of which, a movie came out a few years ago that featured Sacramento. Um, it was called Lady Bird. And check it out if you want to get some more glimpses of uh, what Sacramento looks like. And bonus points if you spot um, our real estate company sign. Number five on the list is the scenery. Sacramento is often known by its nickname, the River City, because it's situated at the confluence of the Sacramento and the American Rivers. This was a great benefit um, in the early years of the city because it um, made trade and travel to San Francisco very easy, uh, but it also caused a lot of problems because there were often severe floods that plagued the city, um, so much so that... Uh, they decided to raise the city significantly um, to solve this problem. And um, they have some interesting uh, tours, an uh, underground tour of old Sacramento that you can take that actually shows you um, what uh, the city used to look like in the below ground areas. One of the most beautiful natural areas of Sacramento is the American River Parkway and um, it stretches for about 32 miles throughout the city and county of Sacramento. Sacramento is also less than two hours from Lake Tahoe, which is one of the three deepest lakes in North America. It's just a really great place 
to get out and enjoy nature that's an easy trip from Sacramento. San Francisco is also located less than two hours away from Sacramento, and it makes for another great weekend getaway. You can hang out at Fisherman's Wharf and grab some clam chowder, ride a cable car, or take in the sights. There's so much to see and do in San Francisco, and my family always has a great time when we go there. Just be sure you bring a sweater, because even in the summertime, it gets cold. Number six on the list is sports. Here in Sacramento, we have several sports teams. There's almost always a sporting event to attend. Um, we have the NBA team, the Sacramento Kings, and they play at Golden One Arena in um, downtown Sacramento in the heart of Doco. And uh, there's also shows and concerts that they have at Golden One Arena. In addition to the Kings, we also have the Rivercats. They're a um, farm league team for the San Francisco Giants um, professional baseball team. And they play their games in their own stadium, Rayleigh Field, which is in West Sacramento. They also have a minor league soccer team called the Republic. They play at Papa Murphy Park. And uh, just this month in October, we were awarded a... A major League Soccer franchise. So they're going to be building a brand new stadium that's going to be downtown in the rail yard project. So that'll be something to look forward to. I'm a big soccer fan, so I'm excited about that. So number seven on the list of things that make Sacramento great is um, the sense of history that you get here. Um, the Sacramento Valley and the Sacramento River were discovered uh, between 1799 and 1832. Yeah, they don't know exactly when that was. Um, settlers began arriving in 1839 uh, to the area, but things really went crazy in 1848 when gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill. And you can get a taste of what life was like in Sacramento way back when. Um, if you visit the Capitol, you can visit Old Sacramento or Sutter's Fort. So number eight on the list is fresh produce. Um, Sacramento is America's farm to fork capital. We have amazing access to fresh produce. Um, every week, year round, you can buy fruits and vegetables and other art items from farmers selling their products directly at one of the many farmers markets or farm stands in the area. Um, hit me up in the comments and I will give you my secret Sacramento location for the best strawberries that you will ever taste. I'm not kidding. Number nine on my list is great schools. Um, there are some really great public and private schools um, in the Sacramento area for elementary and high school. And there are also world-class uh, state universities and a number of private colleges as well. Um, you can get more information about schools in my Sacramento relocation guide. Um, check below in the description and you can find out more info on how to get that. Number 10 on my list of things that make living in Sacramento great is all the family-friendly activities we have here. Um, Sacramento is a community that's really uh, great for families. Um, we got Fairy Tale Town, the Zoo, and Thunderland in Land Park, and then we've got the Railroad Museum in Old Sacramento, and um, there's great parks all over the city with lots of amenities, including dog parks for everybody's fur babies. If you've enjoyed hearing a few of the reasons that make living in Sacramento so great, um, drop me a note in the comments and let me know what your favorite thing was or um, remind me about something that I forgot to mention. Want to learn more about Sacramento? I'd be happy to send you a guide with lots of information about moving here. You'll find the link to request it in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. It's down there too. And if you mark the bell button as well, You'll get notified every time I release a new video with information about real estate and cool stuff going on in the Sacramento area. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!
I promise to give you 11 reasons why living in Sacramento is great, so here's the last one. Number 11 is change. I was born and raised here in Sacramento, and I moved back from the Bay Area to raise my own family. Sacramento is a vibrant city with deep roots, but it's always changing. From the landscape to the skyline to the people that live here, Sacramento continues to evolve and grow. I can't wait to see what's next. So long for now from Susan Knows Sacramento.